What's up everybody, I'm Logan from Sleepopolis and in this video I'm going to put the Dreamcloud and Casper mattresses up against each other to decide which is the better choice for your bedroom. I'll go over what the mattresses feel like, what they're made of, how they're similar, and what sets them apart from each other. At the end of the video, I'll give you my final recommendation on who should go with one over the other, but if at any time you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Now, if you watch the video and make your decision on which mattress you're going to buy, then be sure to click the link in the description to save on your purchase by using our exclusive discount codes. I do want to mention that we also have full reviews of each of these mattresses and you can either click the link below or Google Sleepopolis and Dreamcloud mattress review or Casper mattress review and those will pop right up. But for right now, let's jump in and compare the Dreamcloud and Casper mattresses. Before I start really pitting these two mattresses head to head, I should mention that while the Dreamcloud and Casper mattresses are pretty different, these companies have some similarities. First, they both offer free shipping and both mattresses arrive compressed in a box. Second, both Casper and Dreamcloud offer trial periods with Casper giving you 100 nights to decide whether uh, you like the mattress and Dreamcloud offering a full 365 night trial. Finally, both mattresses have warranties with Dreamcloud's lifetime warranty, giving it the edge over Casper's 10 year. Now it's time to go over what these beds are made of to get at the heart of what makes them so different. First up is the Dream Cloud, which is a hybrid mattress, meaning that it uses a combination of foam layers for comfort with a layer of coils below for support and bounce. Now, starting with the cover, which is a cashmere blend that's quilted with foam, the Dream Cloud offers a soft pressure relief right on top. Below that, it uses a comfort layer of gel memory foam for some further contouring, uh, which sits over a layer of firmer polyurethane or polyfoam to transition the sleeper from softer materials to the firm coil support below. The pocketed coil layer does a great job of supporting the sleeper's body weight and gives the Dream Cloud more bounce than an all foam mattress can provide. Overall, the Dream Cloud has a pretty sturdy feel that I think will remind a lot of sleepers of a traditional inner spring mattress. The Casper Original is an all foam mattress that uses an interesting zone support system. I mentioned that we're talking about the Casper Original because it's their most popular mattress, but I will discuss their other models a bit later on in the video as well. Now, but getting back to the all foam Casper, it uses a knit polyester cover that provides a thick, cozy feeling and some durability. The cover is directly over the comfort layer of perforated Airscape foam. Airscape foam is Casper's proprietary poly foam and it has a super soft feel to it. You're gonna sink right through this layer, getting to the zone memory foam layer below. Now, I've mentioned the zone support system because it's really interesting. A uh, way to set up a mattress. Basically, the Casper is softer at the shoulders where you need more pressure relief and firmer at the hips where you need more support. Also, by placing the Airscape foam over the memory foam, Casper has defended against two weaknesses of memory foam, heat trap and a stuck feeling that people complain about when trying to change positions on a memory foam mattress. Now below all of that is a layer of high density poly foam, which is a super firm material that is used as the supportive base in a lot of all foam mattresses. So now that I've talked about the different materials in these beds, it's time to discuss how those materials affect what it feels like to actually sleep on these mattresses. First, the Dream Cloud has a slightly firmer feel to it thanks to its supportive build with its mix of foam and coil layers. I think the Dream Cloud is a great choice for combination sleepers. I think it strikes a balance between being supportive and comforting and is going to appeal to a wide range of sleep styles. I really like the bounce from the pocketed coils. I think it's going to help sleepers feel more on top of the Dream Cloud so they won't feel stuck when changing positions throughout the night. Now, overall, I would say back sleepers will love the Dream Cloud. I think those that spend a portion of their night on their side will like it as well. But if you're a strict side sleeper that loves a plush feel, you're not going to get that here. I would also say some stomach sleepers will enjoy the firmer feel at the hips that Dream Cloud will provide. and think this could be a good choice for heavier sleepers as well. Now with the Casper, you have a bit of a different feel to it, but still surprisingly supportive. Overall, I would say the Casper has a medium firm feel to it thanks to the combination of foams used in the zone support system. I found that the zones did a really great job of helping keep my spine in good alignment in multiple positions, which is why I think the Casper is a really good choice for those suffering from back pain. And to get more specific, I think back sleepers will really like the medium firm support level. I think some side sleepers will be okay here on the Casper Original, but strict side sleepers will be better off on the Casper Nova or Wave hybrids, which I'll cover in a second. And finally, I think you should be okay to spend a small portion of your night on your stomach, but would not recommend the Casper to strict stomach sleepers looking for a super firm feel. I've mentioned that this video is mostly discussing the Dream Cloud and Casper Original, but both companies actually offer other models as well. 
Casper not only has their all foam Casper original, but makes a Casper hybrid mattress as well. It uses similar comfort foams, but instead of the high density polyfoam base, the Casper hybrid uses pocketed coil support. Overall, it has a nice medium firm feel with some good bounce to it for better mobility. Casper also makes the Casper Nova Hybrid, which has a bit of a softer feel to it that I like for side sleepers. I was really impressed with the Nova Hybrid's ability to relieve pain at my shoulders. I also think that it probably sleeps the coolest out of any Casper mattress. Now finally, Casper's luxury model is the Casper Wave Hybrid. It has an awesome mix of support and pressure relief that a wide variety of sleepers will love. I also think the Wave Hybrid is Casper's best mattress option for heavier people in search of a supportive mattress that don't want to sacrifice on softer comfort foams. Now, with Dream Cloud, you also have the option of the Dream Cloud Premier. It's another hybrid mattress, but this one has a bit more of a luxury pillow top build to it. Uh, the Dream Cloud Premier has a solid inner spring like build and medium firm feel that I like for back sleepers, side sleepers, and couples. Now, that's just a little bit of information on the other mattresses from Dream Cloud and Casper. But if you'd like to learn more, you can check out my reviews linked below. Now before I end this video, I want to break down which mattress is better, the Casper or the Dream Cloud. I think these are both really solid options, but find that they have different strengths that will appeal to different types of sleepers. Now, first up, we have the Dream Cloud, which is going to be the better option for heavy people thanks to its solid build and coil support. I'd also say the Dream Cloud sleeps a bit cooler thanks to its cashmere cover, as well as the fact that the coils create space in the mattress for more airflow and breathability. I really like the Casper because I think the zone support system is an awesome way to avoid back pain, especially for those that sleep in multiple positions throughout the night. I'd also say its medium firmness is a good option for the strict back sleepers of the world as well. So that's it for my comparison of the Casper and DreamCloud mattresses. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. Now, if you want to check out the full reviews of either of these mattresses, just Google Sleepopolis and DreamCloud mattress review or Sleepopolis and Casper mattress to have it pop to the top. Be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our new reviews or giveaway announcements and head to Sleepopolis for all of your sleep needs.